John Atsarakis is still dealing with the pain of losing his mother Fatini in July 2020. She was in St Basil's aged care for two weeks of respite when she contracted COVID and died. Uh, the impact of the loss of my mother was very great. She was a, a big influence to the whole family. John says it's hard to believe no one will be held accountable for the virus being able to escape from hotel quarantine during the deadly second wave. I was really shocked and disgusted. Accountability uh, has been parked and been shelved due to loopholes. Victoria's Health Department was facing 58 criminal charges after infection control breaches in the bungled hotel quarantine scheme led to one of the world's longest lockdowns. The department was due to stand trial in a county court, but the Office of Public Prosecutions has dropped all charges after a legal loophole meant the evidence of 10 witnesses was inadmissible. This was a decision by the independent DPP. I think this would be deeply disappointing for Victorians. What Victorians want is somebody fairly and reasonably to be held responsible. Somebody's got to be accountable somewhere. The evidence can't be used because the witnesses had already provided statements to another inquiry investigating the government's handling of the failed program. The OPP said the exclusion of that evidence substantially weakened the prosecution case, while WorkSafe, which laid the charges, says it's deeply disappointed by the decision to discontinue criminal proceedings. There also doesn't appear to be any consequences for the healthcare staff who posed as fake patients to make an urgent care centre in Colac appear busier than it was during a visit by the minister last year. An investigation found 10 staff pretended to be sick, with one even arriving by ambulance when Health Minister Mary Ann Thomas stopped by. I'm very disappointed. I don't need our health services to be staging fake patients for me to know that our um, health system is facing challenges. Colac Area Health says it's sorry for what occurred and it'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Bridget Rollison, ABC News.